We're going to make a very thrifty fried rice for about seven people. This is a hearty meal, and it's uh, quite nutrient-dense. Here we have uh, five eggs. We'll beat them thoroughly, very thoroughly, one phase. Super hot nonstick frying pan. You could use a really good quality cast iron if you have one that won't stick. I'm, this thing has been heating up for quite some time. I want it as hot as I can get it so that these eggs just bubble up. And uh, I'll stir them vigorously, then take them, set them on the side, and they'll go back into the dish a little bit later, as you'll see. Here we have homemade bacon, onion, and garlic. This is a cast iron fry pan. It's got a nice thick bottom on it. I'm a huge fan of cast iron. I think it's the best bang for your buck uh, in the kitchen, undoubtedly. You know, this fry pan may be $20 or less, and uh, it'll last a lifetime, and it's very useful. So I put my bacon in first, and I've moved it about so that it's all sort of one layer. I, I, I don't want... Uh, steaming action or too much steaming action I want caramelization as quickly as I possibly can you can see it's rendering down the fat to render means to cook it so that the fat uh, turns from a solid into a liquid and that's what's happening the fat is coming out of the of the bacon into a liquid form adding my onions and I'm going to incorporate them into the bacon you want to coat them in the oil in the fat that the bacon has uh, released so that they too caramelize uh, evenly. I'm always working it off the bottom and I haven't lowered my temperature. The temperature is full. Fried rice you move very quickly. You know professionals they use a wok and the thing is on absolutely full temperature the entire time. For the home cook you still have to do it quickly and at a high temperature. That was uh, some carrot brunoise, ginger, and there's also chopped kale that will go in at the very end. Keep cooking it down and cooking it down. Cast iron is going to hold its temperature very well, which is more efficient. You don't want a little thin frying pan that cools down the second you put something into it because then your stove has to work harder to heat it back up. You have to cook it longer. So things are getting pretty close. Notice all the evaporation. The water is coming out of these ingredients very rapidly because of the high temperature. I continuously work it off of the bottom of the pan. And now the rice. Best rice is uh, a really dried out sort of day old rice to be honest because you want to be able to get each and every grain of rice coated in the oil. Um, that's sort of the key. A lot of people leave big clumps of rice and that's that's a lousy quality. You notice how vigorously I'm, I'm incorporating the rice, adding my egg. And now I'm just going to work that egg and smash it up in there until it's in very small pieces, completely uh, distributed throughout the entire product. You have to work pretty fast. And the temperature is perfect. It starts to slightly brown the rice, and that's where you get the sort of frying effect. Notice how sometimes I let it sit and really cook on the bottom and then I, I will use my wooden spoon to work it up off of the bottom and move those uh, crispy brown bits throughout the whole mixture, just like I am now. Again, full heat the entire time. A lot of people are a bit sheepish of using very high temperature, but uh, as long as you're on top of it and watching the product cook and working it, um, you're not going to have a problem. Adding a little bit of soy sauce, 
just a touch to season it. You don't want to add too much or you're going to turn it into a real uh, gloopy mess and you'll lose the whole fried effect. I've added in my chopped kale. I just wanted to add a little bit of uh, uh, green into it, some different nutritional value. But this is an excellent side dish or even a main meal. Got a lot of variety of ingredients in there. We're getting quite close. Have a taste. I encourage you to taste things uh, throughout the entire cooking process so that you're aware of how they change in flavor and texture. This is the only way that you can become a great cook. And here we have it, the finished product.